I, I watched this like yesterday. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even want to watch it again. I actually have some, not bad news, but not good news either. So th here's a quick update on the, the Subi so far. E half a week ago, maybe a week, excuse the mess. I actually went to a, um, a pick and pull here. I actually got new trim. Where is it actually? Oh, some new trim in the back for the main. I did not get these. This has all been replaced for both sides, except for this door right here. But the reason why I actually got these is because, let's see, whoever painted these before did like a decent, but then at that same time, a half assed job. Because look at this right here. This is the driver's side. It was cracked in the middle. Wasn't fully broken yet, but I can tell you give it a little bit of force, it's done. It's done. So I actually found, they only had one 2000, only one Subi there. It was a 2002 wagon and I was actually able to scrap most of it. This might stay black for a while. I'm not too sure if I want to paint it again to match something else because actually I'm not too sure if this blue color is going to stay in the future. Don't know yet. I guess you could say there's some good news in this. So I got some new trim. One thing that happened was I was with a friend, uh, Jeremy, you know, we were going somewhere, the car overheated. I've been so, with this, with the drive from San Antonio to El Paso, I was so confident in this thing not overheating because, well, the time that I was there driving it, I saw no rises in temperature and I got not cocky, but I guess just a little too comfortable. And actually the coolant reservoir tank, this thing right here actually had a small leak in it. It's actually a problem with the, uh, this model and actually up a few years in the WRX line. Basically just a few seals start to crack over time and it just starts to leak. I knew about it. It wasn't that bad in San Antonio and leaving, but I guess it kind of got worse by the time I got here. <laughs> we were going a good distance. I was not paying attention to the temperature gauge. And well, finally, when we kind of came to a stop at a light, I noticed what I thought was dust. What is all this dust? And all of a sudden I realized that's smoke because it was coming just everywhere from the engine. I'm not really worried right now. It's been sitting for a good um, good week, I think. I move it back and forth every once in a while because I can, because I just don't want to drive it. I did order a new replacement. It's coming in soon. Well, I take that back. Where I ordered it from, they said it was in stock. A week later, I'm like, where is it? I also ordered uh, fast day shipping, called them. Oh, apparently it's out of order. Well, when is it gonna be restocked? Two to three weeks. <sighs> so that kind of killed my mood in making a few videos. That's why this video actually took a while to come out because I guess I just lost motivation after they kind of killed my vibe. You know what? I just need to keep going with this. This is just a quick update. Just to, I guess, get out there what's been happening in this last week. That's it for that. This, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, headers. So as for this, it's on hold for maybe another week. So that's just a quick update on what's happening with the Subi and the Jeep. This is gonna be introduced more thoroughly soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, make sure you dislike. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification and be notified whenever I post a new video so you can keep up with this build, that build, and whenever this comes out. That's it. I'll see you guys soon. Remember, stay chilling and shout out to Isaac Valentine. Thank you for your music. Always check him out. Link in the description. Yeah. Description. Great music. Thank you.